Yo, what's going on everybody? It's where I said to the barber. Welcome back to another video. Really quickly before we begin this video, I want to welcome all the new subscribers and thank you guys for all the support recently. It's been crazy. I literally think we doubled our subscribers from last video to this video. A huge part of that is from Chris Bossio. I want to give a big shout out to him too. If you don't know who Chris Bossio is and you're a barber, you've probably been living under a rock for the past 10 years. Anyways, he reacted to my last video, types of clients or things that barbers hate, which is absolutely surreal that a guy like Chris Bossio reacted to one of my videos because Bossy was one of the goats when it comes to barbering. Words can't even describe how I'm feeling because I've been studying this guy, watching from this guy, learning from this guy for like two years now and I've only been cutting it for a year. So a whole year before that, I was just enjoying his videos and for him to recognize my channel or my videos or my content, it just blows my mind. So thank you so much, Chris, it means a lot. Another guy I wanna give a quick shout out to is Yo Fonz. If you guys wanna know who Yo Fonz is, again, you're in Bikini Bottom living under a rock. Fonz is also a goat when it comes to the barber industry. Um, for me, I look at him as a go more so in content creation, even though he's an amazing barber and he's came a long way and he's taught me a lot of things too. It's also a surreal feeling having him comment on my video, watch my video. Uh, we've been chopping it up on Instagram recently and he's just been giving me game. So I really appreciate you Fonz and I'm not gonna disappoint you guys. By the way, his link's also in the bio, go, so go check him out, go subscribe to both of them. Now with all that being said, let's jump into the video. So this is my second time recording this video. The first time I was trying to do it like have my buddy do it while I was driving and um, it worked out a little bit. Okay, yo, fuck this, now turn it on. I keep saying we're bringing you, but um, Cavs isn't here this week. Uh, he's a little bit busy, but follow him still. His links also are in the bio. And this week's video is about tips for beginner barbers. I've been cutting hair for roughly about a year now, so I'm not too far removed from being a complete rookie. I remember the stress and anxiety and all the panic attacks that I would have when I would start to cut someone's hair. So in this video, we noted down a few things that you should maybe keep in mind before you even decide to pick up a pair of clippers. And again, most of these things are just stuff that I've learned by myself and uh, I just wanna share it with you guys. So the first tip I wanna give you guys is fall in love with the game, not the money. I'm a firm believer in anything that you choose to do in life, you can make money in. Anything that you do, you can get good in. But for you to wanna do something, you need to have the desire, the passion, the interest to do it before thinking about money. Because trust me guys, money will come. Not on some cocky shit, but I'm just saying money will come, but just work on honing your craft first, you know what I mean? Now the game, the game is a crazy thing. The game's gonna test you, the game's gonna trip you. You're gonna fall. There's gonna be a lot of doubt in your mind too, or am I doing this right, or can I do this? But it's just all consistency, perseverance, and just as long as you're willing to learn and better yourself, you'll beat the game. The game's just gonna keep on testing you, time in and time out. So with all that being said, what I'm trying to say is, be confident. Even though you're gonna fail a lot, that's the only way to get better in this industry. If you ask your favorite barber's favorite barber to show you their first haircut, I promise you, 10 times out of 10, it's not gonna be a good haircut, and it's gonna make you think, wow, like, if this person can get from here to here, why can't I? You gotta keep that why can't I Russell Westbrook mentality, or like the just do it Nike slogan, like just live by those words, and I promise you'll be like somewhat successful in this industry, bare minimum. Now with me saying don't let your confidence get knocked and just keep trying and keep going, there are a few things that'll help you accelerate your growth and grow more in a shorter amount of time, but I don't want you to think that, oh, I'm gonna give you a shortcut here, but these are things that you need to do in combination with the other things that I'm gonna say to actually go far in this industry, in my opinion anyways. A big one is keeping an open mind. To me, this goes in any, any experience in life. If you don't keep an open mind as to what you're doing or like shutting people down or shutting certain ideas or thoughts out of your brain before fully trying them or understanding them, you're not gonna get far. For example, let's say there's a barber that started yesterday or one that started 10 years ago. I promise you there's something that the barber that started yesterday can inevitably teach the barber that started 10 years ago. It's just keeping an open mind and being willing to learn and try. Trial and error is the way that most good things happen, you know what I mean, in life. Now at the same time, I really want you guys to use your, use your resources to your advantages, whether that be maybe you go to barber school, maybe you started cutting hair because of your favorite barber and learning off of that favorite barber, taking online classes, YouTube, um, if the COVID scene's not that bad where you are, taking in-person classes, if your city or whatever allows you to, your province, state, wherever you are, you know what I mean? You really wanna use every resource that you have and exhaust it till the point where you think you've learned everything. And even when you've learned everything, you haven't learned everything. That's part of the beautiful thing of this industry. You're always learning, there's always new trends, there's always something new going on, and you just gotta keep your head in the streets, I guess. But not like that way, but you know, keep your ear to the street, always be willing to learn. And me saying, like, study your favorite barbers or your local barbers, I also don't want you guys to always be comparing yourself to other barbers, whether that be, yeah, maybe your local barber, maybe a celebrity barber, or just maybe some barber that you see on Instagram, you know what I mean? Like, your chapter one 
is different than someone else's chapter 17. You don't know the things that they overcame to get to where they are. And if you haven't really overcame anything yet, you can't be like, oh, I'm not good as that person or this person. You know what I mean? Like, chances are they were in the same exact spot that you were in, struggling, and they just went through the process and they are where they are. Also trust the process. The process is very necessary, but uh, fuck the 76ers. And another thing that I think a lot of beginner barbers worry about is um, how good their haircut is, which um, don't get me wrong, you should worry about how good your haircut is, but you also wanna worry about providing a good experience for your client, you know what I mean? In all reality, to a normal client, the haircut's only about 50% of what they judge their time with you, you know what I mean? Whether they're gonna rebook with you or they're gonna go somewhere else or if they liked it. If you can provide a good non-hostile environment, a welcoming environment where people are comfortable and you know you can chop it up and have a good time and do whatever, they won't really notice the haircut that much. The truth is, a lot of people don't know what a good haircut looks like. Boss says this all the time. Go to your local Walmart, mall, superstore, wherever you're at, and just look at people's haircuts. Those are paying customers that pay maybe 25 to 30, 35 to 40, whatever the price is in your area. Chances are they're not getting that blurry bald fade that you're seeing whoever do on Instagram, you know what I mean? Or on YouTube. A lot of people just get normal cuts. So you also wanna stress providing a good experience for your customer and not just worrying about, am I providing a good haircut? Another thing I think a lot of beginner barbers stress too much about how much time they're taking on a haircut. Like when I was beginning, I took you like two and a half hours, three hours, but luckily I was just cutting my buddy. But if you're a beginner barber and you're getting real clients, first of all, like my hat's off to you. I could never do that. I was like just cutting my buddy, but let them know you're a beginner barber and you're gonna get better. You're gonna take your time and you're not gonna rush their cut. Even, even if you're just cutting and you take an extra 5-10 minutes and there might be someone else waiting, I know like it might put you, uh, put you under a little bit of pressure, but firstly diamonds are made under pressure, but like it's okay, they can wait an extra 5 minutes, the client that's sitting in your chair then and there will really appreciate you and want to come back to you. And then that's how you kind of grow your clientele too. Good fades, good experiences, and take your time. Don't rush anything. All good things come with time. Really quickly, I wanna go back and touch on that thing when I was saying maybe reach out to local barbers or talk to barbers on Instagram or whatever the case may be, YouTube. Networking is very mandatory. Not only is networking mandatory in like barbering, I would say in any business that you can think about worldwide. It's how you stay up to date. Don't, don't, always, think about, uh, don't always think about competition. It's not always competition. In this industry, there's enough for everyone to eat. You know what I mean? So don't be like, oh, I'm not gonna talk to this person because of that, or I don't want this person to do this. Don't have that mindset. You're already losing if you have that mindset. Now on that topic too, feel free to reach out to me via Instagram. Um, leave a comment, I respond to everybody in the comments. Anyway that you wanna contact me, we can chop it up, whether that be barbering related, or life, or sports, or whatever. If you wanna talk shit about ball, talk shit about ball. Um, I'll argue all day about ball, ask any of my buddies. But uh, yeah, hit me up on the ground. Anyways guys, that's all I have for today. These are just a few tips that I picked up in my first year or so of barbering. All these are not like, oh, this will help you get a better blend, or like, do this when you're lining someone up. These are mostly just things that I want you guys to know before you start cutting hair. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace.